Nice. Hey guys, thanks for staying with us in day two through our Florida tarpon snook fishing adventure. Um, hope you guys have been enjoying this episode and these episodes that we're doing down here. We're traveling out here just for you guys and for the Attic Brand iCast 2019. So we are right now loading bait for day two. We are hoping that our lady fish are alive. Are they alive, Josh? They are. They're alive. Yes, we're going to be ahead of the game. So hope you guys enjoyed that first segment of catching tarpon out there. As you know, those lady fish were kind of Crucial. Oh yeah, they're mm. swimming good. So we got to get Sean a tarpon, right? Is that oh, that a boy? Yeah. So be sure you guys always subscribe, share this to your friends, and hopefully we can get out there and get some fish because we've got a little weather today. There's lightning flashing all around this place, and he's saying we might only get till might only get till about 10 o'clock or so. So we're gonna see what happens. Stay tuned. Dude, they're they're rest and recharge. You just gave them a night at the Hilton. Exactly what we did. Oh, look at them! Yeah, they're just like the bottom. What so happens when you get them and just throw them right in there? Fun boat ride, but fish are gonna make us earn it today. We got a great light show on the way here. There's a lot of lightning around us, but I think we're kind of in between a couple cells right now. So let's see what happens, man. Hey, if today is just half as good as yesterday, we'd be okay with that, right? Half as good as yesterday, so f good day. Exactly. That's, <laughs> that's the call. That's call. Oh, how'd you do yesterday? I'm like, well, let's just say this: if we do half as good as today as we did yesterday, we'll still have a damn good day. I mean, dude, three for five—that's pretty good. Today we're going eight for eight. I hope. So. I don't. Uh, that's bullshit, but whatever. As long as you don't miss all the five bites you get right now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it could have happened yesterday. <laughs> yes, it could have. <laughs> Going perfect, dude, that's that's super hard to do. Right. It doesn't happen all the time. Well, they're big mouths. They all don't bite the same. Right. I saw a roll. I think I did. I don't know. It could have been the top of a wave, but it looked like one. Should I start throwing a jig really quick? If you want to. We got six of them. It ain't gonna hurt. Get your trout game on. You one yet? There's no fish here today. No fish. You never know, dude. They can leave any day, man. Hell dog! Hey, he choked on that slim swim. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'll just go over here, power pull down, and we'll throw a couple of dogs up the front and see what happens. Let that wind push him. Yeah. No. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to float him. You can float that bitch down this wind, dude. You float it down that flat here. It'll get tight. Oh! Oh! God, oh God, dang. Fuck. <laughs> The thing just came off of there when I casted him out and whacked Boss Man in the head. Did you see that? Quality, quality bait, oh, and he just throws it in the water. Whatever. Stuck man. that one through the milk, like not like we were hooking them yesterday, like up through like this, and they came off. We got a lot of them. Jeez. Hopefully, I don't hit Jordan in the head this time. I'm ducking. There he goes. Whee! Oh, swan dive! That's a good one there. It was no fluke. He came, I saw him like come up behind Another it. Another one just, I don't know, unless that was a trout. That was, I mean, it was a decent bust, but I don't know. Uh, the one float just went under. Yeah, so it's just get active. See if we like twitch it, like get it tight and move it, maybe it'll swim away, start, start trying to swim away. Sometimes you kind of get them going and they'll try to move and they'll start swimming away. Come and get it, buddy. She was freaking out. She, she was running away. Probably had a big tarpon on its ass. That's a pig. 
That's a pig. Well, what just happened, Jordan? We just got a screamer. The thing jumped out of the water like six. It's like three times the size of Sean himself. So this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> oh my god! What the heck? That was insane. Dude, we're, wow. si we're sitting here fishing for bait. He just he just pulled the stick up, and we started drifting away from our baits, and instantly just. Wah! Sent him bent, baby. Wow. That was, is a giant. Dude. This is gonna be a very interesting. This is gonna be a big fish. This thing's a horse, dude. This Did is, you see it? It's bigger than yeah. anything we hooked yesterday. It, yeah. It's bigger than anything yesterday, that's for sure, right? <laughs> that thing was a horse. <laughs> He's apparently hooked pretty well, eh? <laughs> Holy The thing's so big you can't even clear the water. Actually, no, it's a big girl. Okay, get a spin. Oh, jump, jump. Oh, it just oh. broke! Oh, it just popped. It popped. That's all that oh. happened. You know what, though? Oh, Sean. Oh man, that was so epic. Sean. Sean, what happened there, buddy? Just jumped and popped. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Still fun. Still pretty crazy. That was epic. Fudge, we gotta be on it. I'm keeping this in my back pocket now. Wow. So that was a fing lunker. That was like a buck fifty right there. Where'd your bait go? Did your bait get eaten? Did your bait get eaten? Way down. Oh. What do you think about those, Sean? That was exciting. Oh. That was a big one. <laughs> that was a big one. It was a minimum of 150 for sure. What do you think the biggest one you've ever boated was? Like 200. I've got two that were pushing that. I'm only giving that to two fish out of nine years. And I said, that one's probably 200. Who knows? I could have caught more, but yeah, you're just being. I'm, dude. I'm real. Uh, I don't know what the word is for it, but I don't. I don't give that number out very often. I, I, my estimates. I feel like I am light on my estimates. Yeah. I just saw two I little fins come out. I see the little wake. A little further past the pelican. Yep. Well, just where it turns slick. I saw one bust out here. Got in between these two pelicans over here a minute ago. Get him. Like when our bait freaked out, yeah. I saw one crush a bait up in here. Holy oh, that was one. He's right there. Right there. Hold on. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> Cameron's up there thinking he's gonna get a tarpon that we just saw in that little tiny shrimp game. I'm trying again, man. Where? Just, just to the left of that pelican. All right. right on the slate. Two of them. With a whole whack of them right there. Oh yeah, I saw it to your right, right there. Yeah, that's where I've, I've seen a lot of fish right there. All right, addicts, we're out here. It's been pretty slow so far this morning, but we're Are hoping. You awake? Cameron is about the ugliest person on the planet. Make sure that stays in the episode, Sean, and comment below if you think that is true. Just look at him. Show him right now. What's up? <laughs> Especially when he does that, my God, he's ugly. But regardless, back to tarpon. We're gonna go try to catch some. We are. We just saw a few rollers. This rainstorm's rolling through right now, so we're gonna hopefully it passes by, and then the bite's gonna turn on, and Sean's gonna put his hands on his first tarpon. So stay tuned. It's coming. You can tell it's warming up too. I was thinking the it's same. Like thing. Rain all of a sudden, it's really just nice. like uh, it just came up like eight degrees. Like this little front's gonna blow over. Then what? pull him in. His buddy's on the meat. On the meat. Buddy's on meat. We gotta go. Said there's a bunch of them down there. So they kind of stopped showing once this wind just shifted, but he said they were all in there, man. But I doubt he's got L dogs, so. Yeah, we're gonna go in there. So we better go show him some L dogs. We're gonna go in there and sweep the knee, aren't we, bud? Mine. That's right. Old broomstick. We got trick. Josh. We, we got Josh. You don't even know it's gonna hit him. You're gonna go above them? Up yeah. one of them? I don't know, we'll see if we can see some, but yeah. I'll probably go behind them and just kind of float in. Stay on there. It's a lady. It's a lady. Stop pulling so hard. 
There you go. Wow, a little candy snack. Is she a beaut? Ah, gilder. That was a gilded fish. This little trout was one Whoa! Monsters. <laughs> Scared me. There's one right there, one right there. I just literally cast it on top of him. We're gonna have to reel those in though. I got it, I got it, I got it. Because we're gonna put the poles out. Oh, oh. oh. That was so fast. Oh, the bobber's floating out there. Uh, your bail open? Yep. No, it wasn't open then. Uh, bail oh, broke open? The brake. Yeah. The, should the, should the, the bail uni. have been open? No, no, no. The bail was closed, and I was standing, and I saw it start to go, and I just let it go. Dude, he oh, broke oh, the oh, brake. Oh, That's dude. pretty crazy. What pound brake is that? It's okay. We're on him. It was an aggressive jump, but it wasn't like that crazy. I was, I went to grab it, but then I was like, I don't know. I was standing next to it. I saw the tip and I ran. I was running away. I'm like, Sean! I don't think. Damn it. Pick that rod up so, so close. Get in that water. No, you could have landed on it. A lot of that happens a lot when they land on the line. They'll bust it. Twisted it away. Yeah. In that was that was pretty cool takedown. It just. Was that too I saw like, the rod just the yeah, straight down. Like, straight down. Straight. You know what? It, you know what I bet happened. You know how they get twisted up. up? That's probably why I've it busted. Been tightening that one too. Poor, poor rod maintenance by Captain Cam. That's what it was that was all about. <laughs> I was busy <laughs> catching ladyfish, and I ain't no captain on this boat, so <laughs> brushing my hands of that one. <laughs> what else you got in here? You got any other little like? colors or weird things that might work this is a great trout lure right here this is like one of the best ones there is let me try it let me try this guy looks like a kaylin grub mm. about to catch me some trout gonna rain. Right there. Did you ever catch anything when it's storming like that? I mean, when it's lightning, I leave. But, I mean, I've caught you stuff with it before. You literally hear the rain. Yeah, that sounds gnarly. Wow, can you hear that on the, do you think you can hear that on there? You can literally hear the rainfall coming towards us, and it's like, still a quarter mile away. Going in, let's go, hurry up. We're running, everybody, we're running away. Oh my god, you can literally hear, it sounds like Lake coming out of the oh, sky. Okay. Dude, it's a wall of water. Apparently, it's not going to miss us. So, dude, that when there's red in the radar, that's yeah, your guys is tall. Like this stuff's coming in, coming in from our side. I'm pretty. I'll we be okay chances. with bailing, dude. I mean, I mean we, uh, you're we not going to fish effectively in that, anyways, right? Huh? You're not no, fishing I, effectively. No, can, I mean, that's the thing. We can wait and see, but I mean, you're either going to wait and camp it out, and then. Yeah, and they're gonna be running home in it, you know what I mean? I don't know. If that radar is right, I mean. Is there any way to get snook on the way back? That's what I was thinking. I mean, we could try the dock where you guys are staying. This Close was the plan, home. anyways. It's 10, so. Yeah. You know, we're right on time. And if we're close to home and it comes, then it's like, alright, well, we're done. Right. Oh boy, we're running! Just throw the trout away. We so that little wall of water, uh, little wall, that little wall of water, just decided to shift it. It is you can hear the rain hitting the water as it's coming in at us. So we're gonna go hop somewhere quick. Jet boogie bang. We out. Mother Nature saying, let those golden locks flow. <laughs> so if you guys haven't noticed, we're running away from the bats. So 
the real nasty wall of water. You can even hear the water like that was roaring insane, dude. towards us. I've never heard anything like that. And it's like, you know, we're not going to fish effectively in it, so we're trying to hedge our bets and getting up further away from this thing to see what we can do. But our day might get cut short. That's fishing. Fishing. Fishing in the Gulf. Goodness. There's still hope though. Sean might still catch a fish. Sean, this is your last chance, dude. This is Sean's last chance at getting a fish and being able to touch it. So we're quickly trying to get Sean a snook here on the dock. We saved some bait, but that storm is quickly coming at us. So we're trying to see what's going on here. Going, we tried. We need more time, bud. We need more time. Josh, you only gave us, you only gave you two hookups. Why didn't you get them? So we're out of here, we tried, but that storm is a wall of water and it's coming too fast, so be gone. That's okay, this is great footage, keep going. Whoa, we got, we got to go. It's right here. It's on us, boys. By the time we put this boat on the trailer, it's going to be rowdy. Say, I haven't seen any lightning in it, though, yet. No, that's what I was like. Kind of, that's why I stopped. I was like hanging, but dude, you're just going to get pissed on the whole, the whole It's coming, though. There's going to be lightning in that I one. Think, yeah. Normally, you would have seen it by now, though, I would imagine. Eh, let it heat up a little more this afternoon, right? Fishing in a hurricane. I'll see that image of Sean's fish jumping out of the water this morning the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> just with the background and everything, it was just so epic. Yep. Just Moby T. Moby T. <laughs> can't even see the whole rest of the south side of the bay or north side of the bay. I don't know, whatever side it is. South side. It's gone. She gone. She gone, boys. She gone. We gone. She gone. We gone north. Back north. Back north, I cast. Well, I think we got out of here just in time because that is, dude, that's a nasty storm. And you know what? We're all fishermen, and at the end of the day, if you're not going to be effective and you're not going to be doing what you're going to be trying to do, I'm all for grinding out storms and doing all that stuff, but that's pretty rowdy. So I think the odds of uh, hooking a fish that's already extremely difficult to hook just plummeted. So we out of here. All right, addicts, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Addicted Life. We really appreciate you guys tuning into these. This was probably one of the most insane things I've done in my life. What about this you, is probably, I mean, it's one of the first guided trips I've ever been on and definitely the best. And we'll be back uh, for I, sure. Mine's and, blown. And we highly recommend <laughs> you guys come back. What's your charter service again, bud? Calusa Hatchie Cowboy Charters and it's at Calusa Hatchie Cowboy on Instagram. Yeah, check them out on Instagram. We'll make sure we put all the links and descriptions and everything down below so you guys can come check it out. Get out here and do this. What's the best time like if people want to get out and experience? Prime time tarpon season's like usually late April through early June. That's like the peak of it. But obviously they're still here. I mean today, yesterday was one of my best days I had in the year. And I mean they can be here as early as March, but it all depends on our weather. Um, but prime time is the, yeah, prime time is like the moons in May and June. That's like the absolute pinnacle and peak of tarpon season. We get them down here in the fall though, like. You know, late September, October is good for them. Sometimes August, it just all depends. You just gotta give me a ring and see what's going on. But definitely, they're always, I can guarantee you, they're here in May and June. And, and not just tarpon. I mean, that snook fishing was incredible too and something I've never, I mean, you don't catch big ones like that. All no, they're, no, you don't catch a lot of big ones like that all the time, especially after what happened last year with our red tides and stuff. But there's still a few around and we'll get them. If you got the right baits, you'll catch them. But usually snook fishing is good March through basically our cold fronts in December. So it's usually good snook fishing year round. They're residential fish. They don't migrate. They live here. They spawn in the summer. Usually the summer time's a little better for them. They're more concentrated, but they're, they're here year round. You usually got a shot at catching them.
cool. Well, get out here, addicts. I really, really think you guys need to take this opportunity to come out here. We'll put all the links in the descriptions. Make this a bucket list trip. Try to get out here. It's a, it was a freaking blast. Yeah, great accommodations. Exactly. Great fishing. Yeah, it's cool. And as always, we're giving you an opportunity to win an addicted fishing prize pack. Comment down below. Share this episode out there. Give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.